Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Been away for a while. Dodgy computer, workload and family. Computer's fixed, the other two are not fixed, but hey oh, that's life. Um, I've been away for a while, like I've just said, but I, as I've been away, we've missed a lot of new releases. Like I've missed two uh, books, The Cities of Sigma and uh, The Aura Clans. I've also missed The Feast of Bones, but I'm slightly catching up at the moment because we've got an, our new uh, army, the Osorak uh, Bone Reapers, and. They, well, to me, they they seem to be stone, stonecast undead, but perhaps I'm being negative. But the cool, there's some cool little nifty things in the battle tome, and I was gonna go over it bit by bit. But I, first off, I want to start with the endless spells because they're kind of unique, different, and I like that. So let's dive straight into it. Right before we start, guys. I'm just going to cut in and say if there's any sound issues I do apologize I'm trying to set it back up to where it was but it's going to take time as I am computer illiterate but now that I've got that uh, warning out the way Bone Reapers have got some lovely lovely endless spells um, I've already picked up the endless spells and as we speak I am putting them together they've got the Bone Tithe Shrieker, the Nightmare Predator, and the Soul Stealer Carrion. All all fancy dead names, but they are unique to other endless spells because of the one rule, Soul Linked. So I can see if I can get it up on the screen so you can read it along with me. Right then, guys, there we go. It's up on the screen. I hope you can see it clear. Right. Soul Linked. This spell is so linked to the caster. When predatory endless spells are moved at the start of the battle round, any that are so linked to the caster are moved first, followed followed by the endless spells that are not. Soul linked spells are always moved by the player whose army includes the caster, the spell, and the soul link too. The player that won the roll off to determine who moved the endless spell first must move their soul link spells first, followed by their opponent. You must subtract one from the casting rolls, but for a wizard that is soul linked to the endless spell, caster cannot be soul linked to more than one endless spell at a time. If the caster is slain, any endless spell that they are soul linked to is dispelled. So, it's a lovely, I call it a double edged sword, because while it's out, it can do damage, it can do anything you want. You are the sole controller of this spell and it is a spell it isn't a judgment it isn't some magma creation it's a spell but it seems slightly higher than the other endless spells because it's all the other ones are still can be controlled by other players it's just the use of magic to get it out but yeah this one just is solely a Bone Reaper controlled one. But that's the good side of it. The sec the you know, the horrible side of it. Um is you get minus one on your spells, so you know, your high value ones, your sevens and your sevens and eights are just gonna be, you know, harder. Um as soon as you were wizard then is slain the spell goes away so you're losing effectively two models off the table so yeah it's it's a bit of a don't worry, I like it I before anybody goes any further I like it I think it's phenomenal it feels very Nagashi as in he's got this buff to magic because he is just a god and if he these are his creations he's not gonna you know say you can you can start a fire with your finger is he? he's gonna he's gonna make something you know crazy for him so let's get into the actual spells right then guys first up the bone tide shrieker it looks like a little monolith with the skulls on it 
float in on the place. Uh, Bone Tide Shrieker is a single unit. Bone Tide Shrieker is a pretty endless spell. You can move up to 8 inches and can fly. I, I believe that's basic for all mandatory predatory sp spells. Um, summon the Bone Tide Shrieker. Summon the Bone Tide Shrieker has a casting value of 5. So he's going to be pretty easy to get out on the board. Only Osorak Bone Reaper Wizard can attempt to cast a spell. If successfully cast, said that the Bone Tide Shrieker is a hold within 12 inches of the caster and visible to him. So, you know, this one's out there simple. First uh, ability is Soul Linked, which we've already gone over, so I'm not going to go over that again. And its ability is Portent of Doom. Subtract one from the bravery of units while they are within 12 inches of this model. Bolt and Reaper units do not get affected by this, obviously. Uh, next one is no escape. Add one to the hit rolls for attacks made by Bone Reapers. U Bone Reaper units are target a unit that is 12 inches in this model. So it's situational. It's a nice easy one to get on the board. And if you haven't got a lot of heroes to give your buffs to, this is a good way of getting your buffs on the table. That said, I don't think it's the best one they got. I think this is probably weakest out of the three endless spells but i could be wrong if i am please let me know what you guys think and now i've got a helicopter flying about lovely right just hope it doesn't get picked up a lot on the uh the audio right next up we've got the soul stealer carrier i kind of like this model anyway it looks really gruesome the base does anyway um, this description, the Soul Seal card is in a single model, it's a predatory, it's a predatory uh, ender spell that can move up to 16 inches and can fly, so it's a good, you know, good distance you can get on this one, and for good reason as well, so let's get into it. Uh, to summon the Soul Seal card on this is a 6, um, and like before all your bone reapers can cast a spell, and if the, the Soul Linked Wizard dies, so does the uh, spell gone through soul length right abilities soul thief at the at the end of each phase roll a dice if any chaos destruction or order models was slain within six inches of this model during that phase on a one to two heal one wound allocated to the caster soul link to this model on a three to four inflict one mortal wound on each chaos destruction or order unit within six inches of this model on a five to six do both of these things so it lives up to a soul uh soul stealer sorry uh, uh name so you can if you were uh, well i see that i see this as a good way of keeping your your caster alive because if you six out which is in front and you've got your caster at the back perhaps buffing your um your catapult he's he's can get his wounds saved from just that spell being up front but on top of that comes the next ability second second sight anything visible to this model is also visible to the caster that it is so linked to so there's a lot of abilities and spells that you need to be able to see the model for so if this is out on your board early and it's going around the place you can aim you can aim this model anywhere and everything's gonna be visible. So basically you've taken away line of sight. So considering this is a what's it it's a spell value of six, I think that is really, really good. So I might be wrong, but I think this is gonna be one of the more useful spells. And now finally for my favourite uh and the spell this is terror incarnate on the board in my eyes the nightmare predator which is a fantastic model i but i will say this now i've said this about every model i think in the endless spells box they are absolutely gorgeous the detail on them is incredible it's it's a fantastic skull 
that, that's all I can say. So well done, GW. Um, but anyway, that's not why we're looking at the wall scroll. Is to talk about the sculpt. We're talking about the rules. So, like they a single model. It can move up to two d six inches and can fly. So, very random. But fun, absolute fun. Right, to summon the Nightmare Predator, uh, uh, it's a Catawal 07, so it's a little bit more difficult, but you're going to get that 9 times out of 10, and you've got to set it up within 16 inches of the caster. And it's got to be visible to him. Um, we all know about Soul Link, so there's no need to go back over that. Abilities, Perpetual Hunter. When this model is set up, the player who set it up can pick one enemy hero as its prey, and then immediately make a move with this model. If the model's prey is destroyed, this model is dispelled. So you you don't want him to pick the guy that's right at the front. You want this guy to be picking a hero at the back so he can wreck face as he's going towards him. So nice. Or you do pick our guy in the front. But you've got to be willing to cast him again then to bring him back out on the uh, field. Right. Death Incarnate. After this model moves, roll a dice for each unit within six, uh, 3 inches. Uh, on a 2 plus arm, unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. If that unit was... If that unit was this model's prey, on a 2 plus it suffers D6 mortal wounds instead of D3 mortal wounds. Um, bone reapers are not affected by this ability so it does exactly what it says on the tent it's a predator it is going to wreck face as it moves through the army so you want this guy in the middle of you know enemies unit just drop in d3 wounds wherever he goes so i think that's probably the better spell out of the three and that's why he's got a higher casting value but if it's out, it's out, and it's, well, it's amazing. So, I think that's going to be the one I paint first, to be honest, because I'm probably going to get more use out of that. Because, luckily, with the way they've set this up, with my other army, my Legion of Sacrament, I got most of this set up. So, hopefully, I can... You know, I'll pick up a couple of units and I can get this out on the table ASAP. And that's two armies then I'll have. Not that, you know, not that uh, two is a B minimum for the AOS. Even though I want probably about eight Bud Bowl teams as well. Collectors never have a problem. It's just, uh, it's something to do in the, in the hobby. But, yeah, that's it. Which one is your favourite, guys? Is it, is it the Soul Steel Carrion? Is it, uh, is it the Nightmare Predator? You let me know. See, let me know which one you think is going to be the most useful. And that is it, everyone. That is the first video in weeks I've done, and I hope you all stayed with me through it, and you, uh, you went through the wall scrolls with me. So. Again, if there was any problems with the audio, I do apologise. I am working on it. And I'm hoping to get make this a regular thing again. You know, time permitted. And I've got a few things going on. Um, lastly, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that have supported me over the last year. Um, but with your subscriptions and your likes and your comments. Uh, it has meant a lot to me. And... Uh, my mates who have helped me with the Blood Bowl side of it. So, um, speaking of Blood Bowl, um, we're finishing up our league, and surprisingly, Halflings are in second place after six games. So, been a bit of a shocker. There's a few, a few tournaments we we will be going to next year as well. So. I got Food Bowl that's coming up on the 16th of November, which is in Cardiff in Firestorm Games. If you guys are interested, head over to Firestorm Games. We are going to the Sin City Bowl that's going to be held in Derby, which 
I know it's a bit of a contradiction. Derby is not Las Vegas of uh, the UK. But the organisers are great coming over and they are working with the two drunk flings. So I think there's still a handful of tickets left. So if you want to be part of it, get a hold of it now. And I will let you know when, you know, other tournaments come up. So it's going to be very different year two, I think. So be with us. Leave a like. Um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you want more content like this. And Blood Bowl related content. And um, there's a PayPal link in the description. Uh, but, you know, just a, just a like will uh, help this channel loads. Because we will get on the map. Because YouTube algorithm is... Uh, you know, it's not very fond of the small channel and being probably one of the smallest channels to do um, this content, we do get hidden a lot. So it's down to you guys. Um, a like and a share will see, see us get seen by more people. So that's enough of my rambling. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.